Well, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Sunday, March the 6th. It is the first Sunday in Lent. We begin with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Collect for the First Sunday in Lent. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son fasted forty days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are but did not sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in submission to your Spirit, that as you know our weakness, so we may know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you as we begin our journey in Lent with the confession. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love, infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites us to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And again, the wardens and I want to thank everyone for their continued financial support of the parish, and so we will give thanks for the offerings that are given every week. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, receive all we offer you this day and through the death and resurrection of your Son, transform us into his likeness. We ask this through Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds of the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen.